Good evening. Um, sorry for the delay, guys. Um, I'm waiting on Vaughn to join us. Vaughn is the Google God, and I think he's having issues with um, the software we use, StreamYard. But hopefully he'll catch on, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. And tonight we want to talk about all the ways to advertise. For the last two sessions, we've talked about Facebook. And I think, you know, Facebook is definitely very, very relevant in terms of um, you know, advertise and you know, building an e-commerce brand specifically. And um, I have my good friend CJ here with us this evening. Um, what up? And, you know, I think Vaughn is here. One second. Let me add him. Okay, so Vaughn just I joined am. us. What's I up, Vaughn? Here. What's up, Vaughn? Yeah, I'm here, ready to go. That, that was, um, that was, there was a slight, there was some traffic on the, um, on the stream yard highways over there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's all yeah. good. Yeah, we, we just started actually. We just started. So we're glad okay. you're here. So yeah, we want to talk about you know other ways to advertise because for the last two weeks we've been really hyper focused on Facebook ads. Um, we've been privileged to have Audrey really break down some you know detailed techniques um, that yeah. can help us actually oh have an edge over other people out there. Um, you know, Facebook is obviously very important, um, but I'm, I'm an advocate of having a, you know, a blended approach to advertising. Um, right. and for lack of better words, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. And we've talked about the issues that several people have experienced, right? Including myself, where we've had Facebook business manager accounts shut down or suspended. Or well, it's right. sometimes just blocked for no clear reason. And typically it happens when you're scaling and you have momentum. And it could be very damaging if that's your only source of traffic, right? right? So I think we have a great panel. CJ runs a company that doesn't use Facebook ads because they're not able to use Facebook ads. And right. Vaughn is an expert in Google. But I'll let you guys introduce yourself, starting with Vaughn. Definitely. Yeah. So um, thanks for the introduction. Thanks for allowing me to be on this as well, Ish. Um, so um, what I do is I specialize in Google advertising. That's like the main gist of my agency. Um, we do other things like Facebook ads, stuff like that. But I knew that it was going to be, um, it was an untapped market, you know, two years ago. Um, not, not a lot of people were talking about Google ads and, and, and talking about the importance of it, using and utilizing the number one search engine in the U.S. right now um, to further other tech, you know, powers overthrow that, um, which I don't see any time soon could happen. But um, with that, I was able to obviously scale my own e-commerce businesses and um, a lot of other clients of ours running just Google shopping ads, search ads, um, and in some cases, the pamphlets like um, info products doing YouTube ads, which did really well um, because the audience in that your ideal customer is obviously searching for what you're looking for and we're putting those ads right there. So we're doing more of a pull marketing strategy instead of like a push marketing strategy, which works out pretty well. But um, Definitely, you know, eager to kind of like let everyone know um, there's, a, there's a lot of good stuff, good tips right now going on for a Q4 um, that, you know, people definitely need to implement into their to their online brands if they um, if they have a product or a service to, you know, run ads on this platform. So um, definitely would be love, love to share. So, so let me ask you a question. When it comes to Google ads, right, what are the first steps? What are the first couple of steps you need to take? to start advertising on the Google platform? Okay, one of the steps, um, say if, already, um, if you, have a, you have a product ready to go with that product, um, you obviously need to create like a Google Analytics account. You need to create a Google Merchant account. You also need to create your Google Ads account and make sure you sync your conversion tracking codes onto your back end of your website. Um, I feel like most people probably are using Shopify these days. Um, uh, that's what I usually tell people to use in Shopify. Um, you want to make sure that you have all the tracking codes backed in. So also in Google Analytics, you're setting up that Google Analytics code onto your website as well. So make sure all the traffic we're getting is being calculated. That way we can use that for other data metrics. Um, Google can collect that data in your best interest as well for um, your ideal customer. Um, from there, we want to make sure we have search ads going. So not just uh, search ads for the brand. Because if you're a new business, no one's really searching for like your brand as much unless you're already doing heavy marketing um, off the bat. So for say from like a beginner standpoint, you kind of just want to make sure you have your brand keywords going, but you also want to make sure those product 
keyword. So if it's a black chair or, or it's a table or a desk or a shirt, um, blouse, whatever it may be, swimsuit, you want to make sure you're advertising for those keywords and then the specific type of keyword of the color and type of uh, product that really is in a detailed uh, keyword standpoint. Yeah, you know, so you mentioned that, um, you know, and it's obvious, you know, that Google is search advertising. So mm. going to the example of black chair, someone would literally have to type in the word black chair and your advertisement or your, your ad will show up, right? Um, and Facebook is different because Facebook studies your behavior right. and will show you an impression or an ad of a black chair and you go, oh, wow. How did they know I was thinking of a black chair, right? Mm -hmm. So um, in your experience, which one is more effective? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to say. Um, I feel like you get quicker, faster results with Facebook. Um, but longevity-wise, Google Ads definitely help because your ads look more, um, there's more authority and credibility with your ad because people give it that. If it's like, people kind of look at Google is like, if you have an ad there, you're a legitimate business because there's a lot more um, policies and restrictions you have to kind of go through to advertise on the platform. Right, right, right. Um, TJ, do you have any questions? I do. I, Vaughn, I heard you kind of touch on the, the YouTube as well, because, you know, YouTube's tied into Google, correct? And I was yeah. curious, you know, what, what what is your strategy when it comes to really running uh, YouTube ads that really convert rather than just drive traffic? Um, so definitely YouTube ads work really great because if you think about it, people go to YouTube not just to learn how to do things, but to watch things that they're actually interested in. And you could you could do a very uh, detailed, specific targeting. So like, say if I listen to hip hop music um, and I want, and say I'm Supreme and I want to advertise my clothes, but I know most of my customers listen to hip hop music, which kind of makes sense with the, the brand and the, the clothes, right? You could target different uh, artists that you know that kind of fit under what you know your your person that's wearing your clothes wears, right? Yeah. So you kind of look into anything from health, fitness. Um, you know, if it, if it's an entrepreneur, you want to target entrepreneur. You have an entrepreneur product, maybe like a notebook or something. You definitely want to be able to use YouTube ads because it definitely helps. You're getting your 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 ideal advertisement right in front of the ideal customer. Yeah. And, and YouTube doesn't charge you unless they watch what 15 seconds of the video. Is, is yeah, and you can and you and there's different strategies. Like there's in stream ads and then there's um there's uh, like non skippable ads and then the skip ads, right? So right. if you do like the skip ad method, um if someone skips the ad, you're not paying for that. But you still got the impression. Right. You only got the impression for free. Wow. But you have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. So with which kind of helps obviously it's like not doing too much of a like a ROI engagement to it tactic, but at least you're still being able to get yeah. your, 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 your business in front of someone without having to pay. Now, if you do the non school, but now you're showing your business in front of, you know, how, whatever dollar amount you put on those the ads daily, but now you're showing that in front of anyone and they can't skip it. They have to watch your full ad and people are going to know that name. You know, if they watch it enough, they're going to know what that business is and hopefully you're targeting the right people. Um, right. So I would make sense you're getting engagement on it coming back. Can Let I throw one more question in there? One more yeah, yeah of course. Quick. Of course, CJ, go ahead. Uh, when, you, when, you say run those, when you say run those ads right there, what do you think is the typical time for a uh, video's duration to really be, you know, what is that, about a minute, minute and a half? Or So so for YouTube ads, you want to run, you want to at least have like 60 seconds tops, honestly, gotcha. because people out there are not going to pay attention too long. Right. And you really want to kind of hook them in those like first like five to like eight seconds. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, good information. Thank you. Yeah. But when it comes to YouTube ads too, um, like the length wise, you want to run that that ad for good metrics for a good seven days. Why is that? Because seven with days for sure, for sure. yeah, seven days because because the way that um the way that like Google ads work, it's not like Facebook like Facebook ads. Like I'm running Facebook ads today for like an e-com store I have. Right. Um, I could, we're going to target all the people that are on there because we're not targeting just based off of people, what people are searching for, right? right. So Google, it will tell you like um, this keyword has, you know, 10,000 to 100,000 searches a month. Not everyone's searching on that day. That's why you want to make it kind of, you want to go off for a few more days to collect as much data as you can. Okay, got it. Different, there's different psyche to it, you know, when they're doing like Facebook ads and Google ads. What sure. else, what, what other differences are there? 
unless CJ, did you want to say something? No, go ahead. No, yeah, you good. What 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 are the differences? Um, you know, are can you share between Facebook ads and Google ads specifically? The 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 first big one is definitely that one's more of a push strategy where we're kind of interrupting. It's like an interruption marketing. Um, Google's more like a warm marketing, right? So kind of more so advertising in front of people that are looking for exactly what you have. We're not just advertising to someone like it's like say like when you go into Google to search, you don't just see an ad right away, like out of nowhere. You have to search something and then you see ads. Facebook and Instagram, obviously, you're gonna like see ads just from being on the platform. Like you didn't ask to see Nike or if you're a girl, you didn't ask to see Fashion Nova. We're just this is going straight at you. So that's why there's like a strong intent when it comes to Google because people are looking for it. It's very intense, it's very warm. Like, you know, like you're advertising like what someone's already looking for. So that's what that's like the biggest example. Um of, like we want, there's there's more examples, of course, like differences, I'd say. Like um the fact that you could advertise to more people daily on Facebook compared to Google. But for like actual like the intent of what your 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 keywords and what you're trying to do do for, yeah. the best bet's kind of gonna be with Google on a more warm side. Unless Google, uh, Google would be more of a mandatory for a remarketing uh, strategy as well, correct? Yeah, it would be great for remarketing, but also great for just getting like cold audience that's actually looking for what you have to offer right. instead of just like a random. Because Facebook, you're more so doing all right. Like if someone's from you know 18 to you know 35 or 25 to 40, I want to like you're just going to try to market them. This is actually going to be more so like anyone that's searching for this, I'm going to advertise with Google. That's kind of like how it, that's like the difference in it. So it's a little bit stronger when it comes to that sense of intent to it. In your in your um, in your professional um, experience, would you? If, what would you recommend ratio wise between the ad spend between Google and Facebook ads? If I was going to say I want to do Facebook ads and Google ads and I had hypothetically a thousand dollars, what portion of that would you advise to go to Google ads? Um, I, I feel like you would kind of want to split that 50 50 starting out okay. um, and just be pay attention very close to the metrics that you're getting, you know, the data, yeah, yeah, the data. Um, you want to. You could cut back because the cool thing about Google, it's not going to overspend your budget. You could put it at $1,000 a day. It's not going to spend your budget. If you put your put $1,000 a day on Facebook, it's probably going to spend your budget, you know, all day. So um, I probably would say you want to put, and also too, you have to test with Facebook. So you're going to have to test out if the video is working better or the pictures. I can tell you right now from like a live campaign I have going, our video wasn't doing well. Our picture is doing better than the video. And that always, over the last three years, that's always been like, uh, the video's working better sometimes, and the picture's working better, then the video's mm-hmm. better, so. You know, the algorithm is always changing, I guess. Yeah, so that's why you always wanna test like, with a video and pictures when it comes to Facebook ads. And then obviously with Google, you're in, you're always gonna have your search campaigns and your shopping campaign. Those are like the no-brainers on us. Speaking of shopping, what about Google shopping um, for e-commerce brands? How, how, how can you take advantage of that? That's that's big. That's kind of like the like your that's the most sales you'll kind of see from your Google ad account is coming from your shopping campaigns on Google. Um, unless you have a very high, well known search brand, uh, most of your most of your sales are gonna come from shopping campaigns on Google. Are you by a computer right now? Yeah, yeah. Are you are you able to share your screen with us? Yeah, yeah, I should do. Um, do you do you wanna run us through how to set up a Google shopping campaign? Yeah, actually, I could I could do that. Let me. How do I share my screen? Oh, I see it. Let me log into an account real quick that I could do this on. CJ, any questions? Yeah, Vaughn, one question. Uh, what would yeah. you recommend research wise before running a campaign? Before you know, like looking at your comp, your competition, and thus forth like that. Um, actually, I could show you on the screen share. I'll show you like a live a live way to kind of like look at different type of keywords and. Look to see what your competitors are looking at. I could go through that in a bit. Let me just Google's kind of kind of friendly, if I remember correctly, too, right? It kind of it kind of leads you in the right direction as you set up the campaign. To the yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely, it definitely leads, in. and a lot of it comes down to the site. A lot of um, what what what's happening now is a lot of people don't pay attention and put a lot of care into their actual website. They just kind of just like throw something up and then think they're good to go. Like, right. um, and that's probably something I should go over too, because. Um, Kind of like just try to throw up a website, and it's not. Google's really strict. 
that's the reason why people buy from Google because they it's almost like buying on Amazon, right? Like you have the trust, like you know when you're buying something, like you're buying something that is actually gonna be trustworthy, you know, in a sense, you know? You're yeah. like you that exchange. So Google kind of has like a strict barrier. And the better that your website is um, you know, optimized, especially mobile mobile friendly, and having like the policies and all like the the contact information and the email and um, an address, all that stuff helps your helps your website have a better optimization score. But I could show some examples here. Let me just pull up a uh, I'll pull up a dead account. One second here. We log in. Take your time. <clears throat> so TJ, while he's doing that, we're gonna we're just gonna give this about a minute. Let's talk about your experience trying to do those TikTok ads. And I ain't really got too much on them right now. I'm still in the infancy stage right now, but. What I tell you is, is another thing is Amazon. That's what, what's catching my eye right now with the season. But, you know, you really got to have you really got to be shipping fast and quick or they're going to kick you off the platform real quick. I ran out of stock like the second day that I just included the sales channel into my store. Wow. And right now, I got to wait for another round of shipment. But I couldn't even take back orders because, you know, Amazon is, is kind of like Google. You know, they, they got that trust factor. They want to make sure that they're, you know, people are getting their package. And, that's one of the things I've seen in 2020 that's really been combating the dropshipping hemisphere is that, you know, the, the shipping times are making and breaking people right now. And right. It's falling on branding big, big, big time. Yeah. And that, that I think that comes down to also um, vendor selection. Right. So part of selecting a winning product is not just getting a product that's just like all flashy or people are selling. Right. You, you, you know, one of the things I tell people in this program is you want to supply you, you want you want to order a sample and see how quickly you get it right right so right somebody to keep it down there right right so if you order a sample and you receive it in four to five days then you know your customers will get will get the same treatment right Word. and if you order a product and it's going to take 30 days that's not a product you want to take to market uh, especially um, going into this holiday season right, right. here this, when the mail really gets this is this is yeah true story yeah that that's a critical part of yeah. it you know Big component. um so let me know let me know when you're ready to share the screen big guy i'm coming up right now let me uh boom, boom. yeah cj where are you okay. right I, what, what about the what about the uh, current price of ads what are you what have you observed this week right now i've been testing a lot but I've really had to restructure my whole sales funnel, but you know, I'm starting at the top at the right now. I haven't really started diving too deep into the conversions because I'm still trying to narrow down into my right audience. But man, it, it, it seems like it's starting to pick back up. You know what I mean? The last couple of weeks, it seems like, you know, but right now it's starting to pick back up. I haven't had any issues with my, my ad account. I've been seeing a lot of people been saying they've been having their ad account disabled and thus forth like that. But you know, right now I've been, I've been good on my side. I'm looking forward. I'm, I'm looking forward to keep testing now. I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to learn a little bit more of this stuff as well because I've actually started running a couple uh, YouTube campaigns, but you know, it's just it's just cold traffic. You know, I haven't been able to convert it yet, but it's super super cheap, super cheap, right? Super cheap. But. Perfect. So let me know if you can see my screen. Um, I don't see I it for some reason. I guess. Let me see here. Do you, do you see it, CJ? I'll see it. No. No. Okay. Hold on. I got to put it on. I got it. That's a stream. Boom. There we go. Okay, now you can see the There we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So so one of the so we're good? We're good? Yeah, we're good. All right. So one of the first things that so I know there's like three things I mentioned the bill. Um TJ, you said um like how to look up things, right? Like keywords, stuff like that. Yeah, just to make sure, you know, I know you know how to template something before I actually dive too deep okay. into it. So we got keyword. Then we got the website, and then what was what else was it ish? Um, no, 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 I didn't say nothing. Okay, it was, key, it was keywords going over the website. Oh, and then also like a shopping campaign. What that looks right. like? Uh, yeah, how to do a shopping campaign? Excuse me. All right, so I'm gonna start with this. I can't speak on this. What um, what I'm showing in front of you too much. Um, so we're just gonna act like we don't see anything, okay. and then uh, we're gonna go over to keyword planner. <clears throat> So the few things that we're gonna do here. So inside your Google Ad account, um, once it's kind of like a, you spend like a dollar or so, it kind of gives a little more data. It kind of opens you up. But what I like to always do is have a, whatever it is, like say example, um, if you want to give me like an example product that you're thinking about testing, 
Um, let's see Say here. Dog harness. A dog what? Dog harness. Okay. Perfect. So. Well, I like always do for one, I like to search the product and I like to see who's selling shopping at on the product. Right. Um, and why, and you obviously want to see who the top three are. So they're owning this, they're owning the top three for a reason. I'm going to click on that. I'm also going to go back over here to my keyword planner and I'm going to put in here dog harness. Right. Get them you, got a, you got an extension, you got some kind of extension over there on, in your browser on the right side. Yeah, yeah. So this is, this is an extension called uh, keywords everywhere. One keywords second. everywhere. Okay. Okay. I think it, it used to, it used to be free like two years ago. Like I think they charge now. So it's pretty much an extension that helps you get like all this. Well, I can show you a better example because I already have it plugged in. But it'll, it'll, it'll let you know like the search volume. Gotcha. It lets you know other related keywords gotcha. that, that people are searching for. So type of dog, dog harness, Walmart, dog harness, PetSmart, stuff like that. It gives you those uh, metrics, and you have to pay. Um, you got to use credits to pay to get the actual search volume. If not, just go to Google, and that's where they're getting this from anyway. So, right. so within now, the back end, setting this, up a campaign, you, you, my apologies, you don't want to copy right. and paste all those keywords right into the campaign, right? Yeah. So, do, so a strategy that we do, um, I don't have a dead, um, I don't have a test top my account to, to show you in. But like, if you could just like walk through me without this. So, I like, say you're in your product page on your Shopify account, right? Right. You would add all those keywords that that only the keywords that make sense to that product. Though. Don't just add it in because it's you know it has to like make sense. It's to related that. to the words, yeah. Related yeah. to the words. Yeah. But you want to add those into your um e tags on your um on the shop or the keyword tags and the shopping tags in your product page. Not just that. Um, I'm gonna if you look on here, you want to also make sure that it's descriptive well in your title of your product. And also within your description of your product, the keywords, right? Yeah, you want to make sure those keywords make sense to that product and also are informative. Um, this is a great example. Like it's telling you, like soft, stretchy, and resilient, lightweight harness. Like you would see the keywords in there show up. Probably the smartest harness, like stuff like that. Um, and this is this is a good example of a really good product page. Not only that, the pictures are are unique. They're its own. Because that these pictures right here are what shows up right here. I love the fact they got Afterpay on there too, because you know right now Afterpay yeah. and payment plans seem to be be huge right now, especially yeah. with what's going on in the world right now. Yeah, and yeah, and that's another big tip that um we're putting on all our e-com stores is. Um, after pay, and there's another one I can't think of the name. A firm, yeah, this that could be it. Sizzle's another one. Yeah, Sizzle. There's a few of them. There's, I believe, there's a few of them out. But those are those are great because they'll help you up, um, not only be able to upsell, but also get more conversion. So, what's the process to set those up? Uh, just going into your Shopify account. Um, go to the there. They have like an app extension to it, and then you just like you know you plug it in there. Now the app inside your Shopify account. Yeah, we're gonna do that with all the stores that have any product over hundred dollars. Yeah, like anything like over like thirty bucks, it's good to have it on there. Oh, really? Okay. So it gives the it gives the customers the options to make payments in case anyone is wondering what we're talking about. Yeah, and yeah, it's, it's or if it's safe, like you're selling something like you're a little bit of a like a hundred bucks stuff like that. You know, a lot of jewelry, a lot of jewelry e-com stores do it. Um. Like I've had, had clients doing that for a good two years. I you know, had like Sizzle, I believe, on there it was the one out there. Right. So, can you give us some um, verticals that you strongly recommend doing Google Ads on? Even though I know that's a very you know silly question because you would say everyone, but are there any verticals that are you know stronger on Google with Google Ads? Yeah, um, I would definitely say you want to always kind of check like the keywords of like, your product. Yeah, because some keywords are more expensive than others, right? Yeah, and another good thing to look at too during this time is you go on Google Trends. Excuse me, and um, you type in like your product, and you kind of want to see what the trend of that product is going to. 
because sometimes you're catching products on waves. So like if you look right now, this is actually this dog harness is actually going up in a wave. You can tell it's like it's projecting up. But that's all speculation, though. That's like looking at a stock chart. Yeah. So it also helps you kind of knowing, like, okay, like dog harness. Um, this is how it's. This is how it kind of was. If you look at the the previous times before. This is a great way to find some products as well, because Google Trends yeah. has an, uh, an explorer page as well, where they show you, you know, in real time, all yeah. the stuff that's really being searched for right now. You can get some good ideas and look into the future a little bit. Yeah, so you use right, so you use this, and then come back over here and kind of look to see like what was if that keyword is like has like the search volume, and also what it's looking like. It's dope. Um, and then obviously like you could it also shows you some other like you know cool little things in here. It shows you like different type of refined keyword. One more thing, right? When you do Google Ads, right? Okay, one of the one of the perks of actually advertising on Facebook. Or is or on Instagram is, I guess one of the perks is you end up having followers. The more you advertise, the more followers you you, you grow, right? Yeah. When you when you do Google ads, like let's say you start spending a significant amount on Google ads, does it help your search engine optimization ranking? Yes, it, yes, it does. Um, and it's also great to have like a pretty good just SEO back into your website, right? Because that way it helps the AI that's crawling your ad to be able to find the ad better to give you this better thing. So I'm pretty sure if I go on here, I'm pretty sure they have some. They have, they have a bunch of backlink pages. Right. Let me let me take two minutes and talk about the program um, for people here that are on a guest pass. So um, we've been listening to um, Vaughn, the Google God, talk about Google Ads. Um, this is week seven of a 12 week training where we actually talk about um, the fundamentals of running a successful or profitable e-commerce business from scratch. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, most of you are already enrolled in the program. Uh, we, we're, we're part of a program right now. This is a live training. Um, it's called the e-commerce partners program. And what's included with the program is a live Shopify store. So you have an opportunity to not just learn um, from experts like Vaughn, who've actually managed seven-figure stores. Um, people like CJ, who've actually built seven-figure stores. Um, people like Audrey, who've shown us um, how they've generated seven-figure revenue stores. Um, you also get to um, have access to all this content to watch on demand. Now, for promo reasons, I've left some of this content on YouTube over the last couple of weeks. But you, you best understand that I will not um, keep them much longer. Um, secondly, another thing I would like to urge you guys to understand is this is a pilot group. And after this initial group of 40 people, um, where we, we're currently at 36, so we have room for four more people, um, the price of the mastermind will increase significantly because the value is there, right? And we want to focus on people that are fit and people that have already voted with their dollars and already enrolled. So we want to make sure that we're putting the effort into making sure their stores are generating revenue and their ad spend is getting a return. Um, if you are advertising at a certain threshold, um, people like Vaughn are available to assist you with building your brand. So that's one of the perks of this program. That's why Vaughn is here. Vaughn is here because he's an expert at Google Ads. And if you feel that um, you want to run a brand, I have no problems with you guys reaching out to Vaughn and discussing working with him, his rates and everything. But if you have a brand under the e-commerce partners program, we manage the store for you, right? So that's all inclusive. Um, so that, that being said, I'll let Vaughn um, speak a little bit more about Google ads. If you guys want more information, um, it's on ecommercepartners.online. You can always reach out to me on Instagram at Ishmili, um, and um, or you can reach out to TJ or anyone else um, that's in the program and for more information. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Sounds like a commercial, but it's not. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so uh, where was I at? Um, we're definitely going over some of the keywords and the strategies. So, what I like to do, obviously, um, I like to actually look at the keywords. And you see that a lot of people, 135,000 people are searching for this a month. 
yeah. um, which is a lot, which means that there is there's a need there's a there's a need for us. Even when I um I was in I was in Miami two days ago and I went to the mall. And I always like to look around and see um, what brands are selling, how they're selling, or what new kiosks has come up. And kiosks are always good ideas for drop shipping or white labeling econ stores. Because that's literally what they are. So I actually saw a dog harness and it was a new type of brand of a dog harness that looked pretty similar to like the shape um, that they were selling. So um, you could tell that it's, a, it's something that's going up right now. People often do spend a lot of money on their pets. And if you could fit that market and have something that's massive and maybe innovative, you have a product that could work. So makes sense. So if I want to search like a back brace, for example, how do I, so just go on Google Trends and just put that keyword in there? Yeah, back brace. Well, you want to search it to see the examples also, right? And then put it here. There's also a spark in this going up as well. And then we also want to put it here. Right now. All right. So we see about forty nine thousand. And now, and the cool thing is, you look if you look right here, see how there's back brace. Well, another search term that people are looking for is this posture corrector. Right. That actually has more searches a month than the back brace. So let's put. Uh, Interesting. I might. Issues. And I think this is also a very helpful tool in naming a store, right? Because if you if you have a keyword that is more popular, like you said, posture, um, you know, then you might want to use that when you when you're searching for for a store name. Yeah, and you can actually look at some of this, right? You can see this store took advantage of using that word posture perfect, right? And then you have uh, back. So I saw a store. Um, earlier today, it's called the Posture Therapy. Uh, yeah, it's called the PostureTherapy.com, and um, it's on sale on Flipper. They're asking; they're currently at seventy-nine grand, and they started the store five months ago. It's doing about eleven thousand dollars, about twelve thousand dollars a month in profit. And it's called, and the, it's called the Posture Therapy dot com. So are we, I want to I want to see if we can do a live exercise and see how much they're spending on ads. No, the posturetherapy.com. Oh, the posture. Yeah. They sell three products. <clears throat> this yeah. right here? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so what I think I saw is So like this is a so this is a this is good inspiration for you guys. This is a five month old store that has done about 56 grand in net profit in the last five months. And they're now selling the store. Um, it's currently on Flipper. I think it's at last time I checked, it was about 80 grand, um, 79 grand or so. And I'm going to be watching it because. At eleven thousand dollars, the esti the fair market value should be over two hundred grand. So it'll be interesting to see what the store sells for, especially since they just built it five months ago. Yeah, very interesting thing too. That happens is that you notice how when I typed in the possibility, these other brands are taking their search volume and their right. ads. Right. Right. Yeah, you should just put it in the on, in the in the URL, the the, the posturetherapy.com. Not in the search box, just like in the in the browser. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just copy and paste it. Yeah, it's all good. Oh yeah, you were just at the store. Exactly, my bad. Yeah, but you want to see the products they're selling? Yeah, no, I just was trying to show that, show you example how you could also use. It's a strategy people use with Google Ads. Okay. You can steal your competitor's traffic. Right. And that's what they're that's what they're doing. So they're stealing their traffic. 
Yeah, so people were stealing the this this website's traffic. Yeah, because if you go search that, they're using that, that company name as a keyword. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. All right. Interesting. That's just one strategy for sure. So, well, lastly, I know you wanted me to uh, show like how to how a shopping ad kind of gets built. Right. Uh, so, uh, one of the key things you can't run any shopping ads if you don't have this going for you. This is the Google notebook. I'll show you login to the store. Uh, login. Okay, so you need this to be set up and connected to your Google ad account in order okay. to shopping actions. Okay. okay. So it's real. It's kind of real simple. You kind of start. You connect the store. Um, do they? Do they? Is is that a strict thing? Are they? Do they approve people? For that, um, it's it's a yeah, it's gotta be showing ten stores right now. But uh, it's a it's 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 not it's most people are playing product line. It's not that it's it's not like gonna get. The only thing you can't really sell in here is like tobacco, um, COVID mask are very are very very strict right now. Um, and obviously like anything that you know, you can't just advertise online. You can't really try to. You're not really gonna get through it. You know, the people that right. But. If you have everything in there synced right, and you have a clean website, I also oh, that's what I need to go over was the website. I'll go after after I show that ad. So once you have this connected to your Google Ads account, we're gonna go right over here. We'll click on campaign. We're gonna press new campaign, <clears throat> and for this, our our goal that we're gonna choose is gonna be sales. And from there, you go down to shopping, you click on shopping, it's super easy. And see how it says Merchant Center account? Right. Yeah, so your Merchant Center account will be, or obviously be connected. We make sure it's connected. We select where we're targeting, the United States. Um, and you wouldn't jump to this unless you had some data, but you usually would go down to a scan campaign. We enter that campaign. Um, uh, you could name kind of whatever you want that makes sense. Uh, shop. Now, when it comes to bidding strategy, <clears throat> this is where your your um your daily budget, whatever it is that you're looking to spend, is what you're going to kind of going to go after, right? So your different your different strategies you have, you could target some type of raw ad if you kind of have if you have that number set, which you kind of don't really have it set, um, unless you're unless you're pretty good with your numbers, you know your profit margin right away. And you know how much you're trying to like sell it for and try to make that certain type of profit margin. But kind of most people kind of don't starting out. So you could go after just maximize clicks. Um, I do like maximize clicks. Yes, it does spend your budget, but you're also getting more data and getting you can get more sales quickly by spending your budget. Then later on, like you know, after a week of running ads, you could trim and optimize your campaign. Got it. You also can set your maximum, you know, cost per click at a certain level. If you're in a competitive market and you're trying to bid and you want to kind of do well, then you kind of want to set it at that highest bid. If not, you're trying to save money, you can keep it. You just let it just do its thing, it'll automatically do it for you. Um, say a good daily budget. Um, I would say roughly from about 50 bucks is good. 50 bucks to 100 a day on one campaign. Right. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah I have I, I have a project that I need to talk to you about, Vaughn. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a product called it's a digital product um, that I that I ha I'm trying to get off the ground, and okay. I, I think Google Ads would be the best way to do it versus Facebook Ads. To be honest with you. Okay. They yeah, because you could go off the of the intent of the bar. Especially if you make a YouTube ad for it, that'll be probably do really well too. Yeah, do you want to take a look at it? We can do a live exercise. It's it, the website is yeah. so, social media kits dot me. Social so, media kit. No, social media kit dot me. That's a that's a website. You might you you want to put that in the browser. It's a brand new website. Uh -huh. I haven't launched it yet. Social media kit dot the, me. Okay. Yeah, I just actually connected the Stripe account an hour ago. So what this is is this allows people to get an analytics report 
of their social media, right? So you can get a report of your Instagram account, your YouTube, TikTok, or Twitter account. And you, you, you might wonder why does someone need that? Well, a lot of people get paid um, to be social media influencers, and it has nothing to do with having a large amount of followers. It has to do with your engagement, right. your reach, and stuff like that. So if you're able to get a social media analytics report, um, you have a tool that you can present to brands and they'll consider working with you for a campaign. No differently from how people audition for jobs, right? And, you know, they, they get advertising roles and commercials and stuff like that. With a social media um, analytics report, you'll be able to participate in influencer marketing campaigns, right? right. And, you know, TJ, TJ knows about this because TJ spends money on influencers. And, mm -hmm. you know, I told him, I said, well, let me run a report. And, you know, it really gives you a lot of insights, like how many followers they have, um, what percentage of their followers are fake, and, and stuff like that. So I feel like this is a, a product that a lot of people need because, you know, less than people that are younger than 30 years old, 95% of them want to become influencers. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. so I, how do I use Google ads to, to sell this reports, which I want to sell for $47? And what would be my cost estimated cost of acquisition per customer? Um, wouldn't be able to know those numbers right away till we kind of like ran like two weeks of ads. Okay. Yeah, so what would be the process? So the process with this obviously would create a Google ad account for this, create a Google analytics account. Um, because this is an actual, like it's not like a physical product, we don't really need to do a merchant on this. And what will be, what our strategy would be is we'll do a bunch of search ads and then dump with display ads as well. So, so the display ads will be somewhere they'll go on, so they will be targeting YouTube. And then also if you have like a video, which I think I saw a video here. Mm -hmm. There's a YouTube link in there. Not too sure how long the video is. Oh, it's one minute. Yeah, I made it a minute. So this will be good. So this will be perfect and easy to run on YouTube ads. You already have the video. It looks really clean. Right. It's important. I want to watch it real quick. All the details that different brands need. If you want to um, collab with different brands, um, it's only $47. So let me show you guys how it looks. So it's basically just the full analytics. It tells you engagement rate, applies, comments, but it just gets full into detail. It tells you your follower ratio, engagement rates. Wow. It just gets into thorough details. This is, uh, um, it tells you about your research. This is actually really powerful because you know what um, I've been seeing in a lot of different um, articles coming up? Right is the fact that a lot of more businesses are going to take social media management and like that team in-house way more serious than they've had in the last few years. Of course, of course, because it's the most, it's, it's becoming a more serious advertising channel, yeah. you know? Yeah, um, and like and we know that for sure, right? But like, right. it's a, uh, but just people just coming out into the job world, like there's going to be a lot more new people in the job market that are kind of like new to the business side of social media. Right. And I'm pretty sure this type of tool is gonna to be something that we would wanna sell B2B. That way it's like something that they use to make sure that they're, when they're used, when they're going to you know pay for influenza, it's making sense and have an like easier breakdown for like their teams to follow. So that's like, that's gonna be pretty big. Yeah, I think it's a needed tool. I just, where I'm stuck is how to, how to market it online. And for me, that's because I don't wanna, limit myself to what I know. That's why I would rather work with someone like you who was an expert on Google ads. So I don't make mistakes, you know? Yeah, because we could definitely make that we have okay. more. Is there, is there and, and especially if there's another big um, competitor, that makes it really easy as okay. well. Okay, yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah. But does anyone have any questions they can leave in the comment section? Um, someone said, TJ, have you ever resold products on eBay Amazon or other platforms, and I think CJ kind of answered that oh, um, earlier when he said that um, he was selling on Amazon. You know what's interesting? Um, you know, so I have a store that um, I was selling a product, you know, a, a, um, Afrocentric clothing, you know, you know, and one of the products that I sold was a mug that had the map of Africa on it. And I never thought much about it. It's just another Prince on Demand product. It just happened to be my best-selling product, you know? So 
I started looking at how to sell mugs because you know I was going by the data. And I bought a course on how to sell mugs where this lady says she makes $20,000 a month selling mugs. Um, and, and so my question for you is, have, have you ever heard of anyone selling products on Etsy? And how do you advertise on those platforms to get more visibility? So I haven't really advertised any products off of Etsy. But can you use Google ads to drive traffic to like an Etsy landing page? I've, I've never even tried. Um, I've seen it done. I see it. I've seen it. Yeah. Done. Like I know like Etsy runs, I know Etsy runs a lot of Google ads, but I never known if it was someone's individual Etsy store. I never even tried that. I think Etsy has a, a seller's uh, central just like anywhere else too. You know what right, I mean? Right. Yeah. Marketplace. Yeah. Right yeah. Like all that. But I've seen people run that. But Vaughn, question for you. Does the Shopify still give you the $200 ad spend when you spend $100 on a new account? Um, I know, I know Google sometimes gives you that, that little ticket. Um, that used to be like a trick we used to always kind of give out to people like sign up for this, make sure you get your free hundred dollars to use on your Google ad account. I don't know if it's cause I was just a different strategy. We haven't, I haven't seen it. I, it's probably still there. We just haven't even, we haven't even looked for it. And the, these other clients, they just give us, they have a limited plan and it's kind of give us a card. So I haven't even, but I do remember that was like the go-to, like it was the go-to. It has to still be there. I'm pretty sure you just have to Google search it. Um, like free hundred dollars from Google Ads and it should. I, th I, th I believe it's still on Shopify. Yeah, yeah. I believe it's still there. So that definitely, that definitely should be a thing there. I didn't know it was two hundred. I thought it was only hundred. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure which one it was, but I always remember. You know, it goes a little, yeah. goes a little way. I think that's that's pretty cool. Two hundred. That's, that's, like, that's, 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 that's crazy good. <laughs> that's yeah. It's two hundred. Hey, so Vaughn, so Vaughn, for anyone who's listening now or maybe later. What's the um, minimum ad but ad spend to work with you um, on a monthly basis? Um, minimum ad spend is at least twenty five hundred. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Vaughn is Vaughn is really good at what he does. Um, he just had a write up this morning on disrupt, and I want to really thank you for your time. Um, this is going to be a short one. Um, I don't know if anyone has any questions, but we just wanted to kind of like touch on Google ads mm -hmm. and. For those of you in the program, by now you should have your website. If you don't have your website, there's definitely something going on. Um, you might want to just reach out to me and let's see how we can get that resolved. Um, it's probably some sort of miscommunication or something. Um, and we are getting ready to start running ads. Um, we'll try to run some ads through your agency, Vaughn. Um, okay. You know, we're, it's, it's, a, it's a marathon for us. Um, some of these guys are ready to, you know, spend more than what we even recommend. So okay. I would urge um, anyone who's looking to do Google ads, because we manage the stores for them. Okay. Um, we'll definitely partner up with you to be our official Google ads guru. And, you know, that's a way for, of saying thank you for, for coming on board. And, and you know, we'll, we'll work out the details because I really believe in what you're doing. And um, you've demonstrated this is your second time in this mastermind. So that's very much appreciated. And thank you for sharing the gems with us. Sometimes people want to see, sometimes want to, people want to see like it's real, you know, they want to, they want to, and I, I, you know, I, that's why I like to do things live and I to like right. speak next live. That way no question could not be. You you know what shuts people the fuck up? Numbers. Yeah. Numbers. Yeah. You want, you want to show them some dashboards? Yeah. That, yeah. Let's, let's go. You got to, you know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Numbers, numbers don't lie. Show them some dashboards. Let them see some of the work, you know. And then they'll, they'll you know, they'll, you shut them up that way. Yeah, that's <laughs> the best way for sure. So, um, yeah, if you want to share some dashboards with us, we're, we're down for that. I love let, seeing. Let me see. I, 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 TJ, talk to the people. What you got to say? Fourth quarter yeah. motivation from man, Coach motivation. TJ. I, and I just think this is a hell of an opportunity to like he was talking about with the social media, how, you know, just knowing the math of an Instagram post, you know, how far they can go now. You know, people used to not even bat an eye at it. Now that's a that's, it's a trait that people are paying for. You know what I mean? And stuff right. is powerful. It goes a long ways. Yeah. And I really want to commend the people in this program because honestly, when we started out, most people in this program were honest with me and said, I, I don't know anything about e-commerce. Right. And, you know, we try to keep the pace where we want everyone to move along, you know, because this is a pilot group, right? So we're all partners. And if yeah. anything is going above your head, if you really feel like, oh, this is a little bit too much for me to die, just don't worry about it. 
you know, these guys didn't just learn this stuff overnight, right? They spent hours, you know, knowledge, you know, you know, money and time, you know. So you, you have to understand that we're given an overview. You're not, you're not getting tested for this. There's no exam, right? It's just a reference for you to kind of like um, be able to at least hold a dialogue um, when it comes to this type of stuff. What's but unique about this program... My bad. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. One thing in there before we get too far. Yeah. The, the real money really is in the back end, like we were doing, doing the research and doing all that yeah. stuff. That, you know, everybody sees the pretty part of the story and think, but the money right. to be made in all the research in the back end, like you said, taking many hours. It's good to know this stuff. This stuff is very, very valuable information. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I think one of the things that I, one of the mistakes that I made in the past was always thinking, oh, I could do it by myself, right? And, you know, I know marketing. I can do it myself. And, you know, like most people, I went ahead and money. signed up for that 14-day Shopify trial and started getting irritated when I was paying the $29 a month and wasn't making any sales. Yeah, I don't want you guys to be in that position, right? So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to create a platform where it's done for you, right? It's a done-for-you approach because that's really what works. You never get it done by yourself. Let's just be frank. Right. The only way you're going to get it done by yourself is by losing a lot of money and spending a lot of time. So who wants to go through that? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so we've created what I think is a is a low risk, fast track opportunity to earn money from e-commerce where you can actually have a stake in, in this booming space. Right. And also have an opportunity to participate in live conversations like this um, where you learn from people that are truly experts in this space. Right. I'm, I'm a student of the game. That's why I ask so many questions. Like, I'm like that guy in the front seat. Like, can I ask another question? So I'm, I'm, I think, I like you know, having people like Vaughn and CJ and Audrey and David Meltzer and Sean Kelly and all the people that we're still going to have that have joined us. You don't you don't get those opportunities every day. Right. Not for the price point that we're paying. Right. Masterminds like this, like there are masterminds out there where people pay one hundred thousand dollars. And that's just being honest with you guys. You guys can look up a uh, million, I think it's million mastermind experience, million, I, the one that Dan Fleischman and them are doing. And, and yeah. they have a hundred people that are paying a hundred thousand um, dollars to network with each other and learn from each other. There's no price tax to knowledge. The most important thing is action, right? So for us, you guys have already taken a big step of the action by joining the program. And for those of you who are on the edge about it, stop overthinking it, right? It's not a lot of money, and that's that's by design, because right now we're in a building stage. Once we get to the point where we have stores that have hit what I call the finish line, the price is going to go up significantly. So I think you guys should really take advantage of what's going on here. Um, no, it's not only a chance to talk about what's happening in e-commerce and you know brag about what people are doing. It's a chance for you to actually have um, you know skin in the game, so to speak, right? While learning at your own pace, the fundamentals of the game. You know, those, you know, you want to learn how to watch football. If you want to learn the rules of football, you don't ask, you just watch football and you figure it out. <laughs> right? You start learning what a hold is, what a penalty is, you know what I'm saying? What a touchdown is. It's the same thing, right? So um, I, I, I'll let, I'll let um, Vaughn show us some of those screenshots so we can get some inspiration. And yeah. <clears throat> But I really, I really think that um, what we've created here is amazing. And I really want to commend you guys for your patience and your support and your participation. It's a marathon, guys. Like, I know you guys want to start advertising and start selling. But if we don't understand its fundamentals, it's like going on the journey without a roadmap. You know, it's, it, there'll, be, there'll be more delays that way. So, so here you see one account with uh, 315,000 in Google Ads. Ooh, let's see. Let me let me let me share the screen. Hold on one second. Okay, got it. Yeah, you're on now. Lessons, y'all. I appreciate everybody that tuned in for sure, for sure. Yeah. So we got this right here. So you get pick those numbers, and then I have another one I can share. So wait, break this down for us, because some people here don't really understand what's going on. So this is the amount of sales that um, were the purchase sales that were calculated, and then here you see the cost. So they spent two hundred and eight thousand dollars in ads, and they've generated yeah. eight fifty four thousand from those ads. Yeah, that's Same. more than a four times return. Yes. 
And uh, this is over a period of how long? This was from 2019 of September to November 2020. So every dollar gets them over four dollars back. And what's yeah. the margins on the products? You know, I believe it was 35 percent. Wow. So wow, that's very very amazing. Uh, and this one here was uh, like 50 percent. Wow. And that's all I can really share right now. I can't really go through. No, fair enough. I mean, uh, that's that's that. If that's not in inspiring enough, I want to know what else to inspire you. To, yeah, yeah. to understand the Google Ads work. Yeah. CJ, yeah. CJ, what do you have to say about that? What 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 has your experience been with Google Ads? Have you ever ran Google Ad campaigns? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm playing with them a little bit more in one of my newer stores right now. But you know, that's okay. inspiration right there. And Mom, yeah. I'm going to give you your flowers while you're here, man. I've been seeing you in Thank the you, atmosphere for a while, man. I like the style that you bring to the whole e-commerce world right there man you appreciate you business. man yeah, appreciate sure. that bro. definitely i definitely think you should you should put some of your ad spend to vaughn tj and let's see what happens you know yeah yeah because i'm over here playing yeah. around with it right now i got i got the content i got everything you know i need to have but yeah, you know, let, let, let me know man I'm, I'm all about that for sure yeah. like, and, and vaughn i i got i got $2,500 to test out on that social media at the kit uh, kit on me okay yeah, let's 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 see what we can do with that. I, I have a, I have my team put some stuff there because I have a guy that kind of helps me with my audio, so they okay. can you know the numbers, and I can just see if what get kind of like have a plan or direction to go there after that. Wow, right, you got it, man. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, we're gonna keep this one right under an hour, um, but like I said, if you guys want to join the e-commerce partners program, reach out to me. Um, I, I go by Ishmaeli on IG, or you can go on ecommercepartners.online. TJ, you want to say one more final TJ, thing? TJ, let's in as well. Yeah, for sure. I just I appreciate everybody that's tuned in. I got a couple of my, my, my fellows on here, and they you know they kind of new to the whole e-commerce hemisphere, you know what I mean? But okay. they're trying to tell them you know, the opportunities that are out there. So, Ish, I appreciate you having me on the call and being able to even have something like this going for the community, you know what I mean? So, it's a little... It's all good. Hey, so how can how can people reach you? It's TJ TJ TJ's Instagram is go getter G O A L G E C C A three O three three O three because my man's from Denver. Vaughn, how can people reach you? So sorry, his was go getter go getter G O A L G E C C A three O three. Yeah, I'm trying to find that. Yeah, mine is Ishmili I S H M I double L Y, and yours. Uh, mine's Van Dennis Official. V A N D E N N I S Official. Yeah. So CJM, man, hit me up, give me a follow, man, and I'm. Um, I'll okay. definitely. Thank you. I appreciate uh, you. Thank you. I appreciate you as well, Ish, for you know, putting us all together. It's all sure. good, guys. All right, love. Your influencer marketing.